I'm Dr. Paul Jared Frank of the Fifth Avenue Dermatology Surgery and Laser Center. Today I want to demonstrate treatment of under eye circles, bags, otherwise known as dark circles. Uh, what was once thought in the past to require surgery for bags and discoloration, which involved using also a lot of topical uh, products that weren't really effective, we can now address uh, with injectables. Um, and here today we have uh, Donovis that we're going to do an injection of. Um, I'm going to use the product Juvederm. There are several fillers you can use under the eye. I prefer, prefer this one, Juvederm. You can use Restylane as well. Um, I do prefer the sugar fillers, what are called hyaluronic acids, mostly because of their reversibility. They tend to last significantly a longer amount of time in the eye area than in the lips or around the mouth. And I would say for most people, this treatment will last a year. I have patients where it uh, lasts a lot longer. Um, there are several reasons why people get bags or dark circles under the eyes. Um, sun damage thins the skin. There is also a genetic propensity uh, for dark circles and uh, rings around the eyes to form. The actual fat and the soft tissue uh, under, in the eye area redistributes, so certain areas actually puff out, other areas indent what's called the ocular groove, um, and there are several ways that we can address that. Um, let's take a little closer look at Dee right here. She has a combination of a few things. She has some topical discoloration, maybe some mild sun damage, but mostly what she has is what appears to be um, a bag right here. And that it really only stands out mostly because of the indentation she has here. She's actually lost fat over time. And this is not something that's just age-related. Um, we see this in 19-year-olds. Uh, most people seek treatment for this somewhere in their mid to late 20s. Uh, other people may not get it until their 40s. So it's not really just an age-related thing. Um, by putting a, a little bit more volume in the area, we can play tricks with the eyes um, where uh, we can make everything look a whole lot smoother. So uh, Donovis has been sitting uh, for a little bit with topical anesthesia. It's actually quite painless in this area. It's also very, very safe. Um, we're putting it very deep around the area where the muscle is. Um, and most of the time, we can really avoid bruising or swelling. I usually tell patients not to have, you know, go to a wedding or a big party within the next couple of days, but most people are certainly able to return to work or play. I tell people to avoid things like aspirin and pain relievers uh, and uh, vitamins, things that may make you bruise, and certainly our, um, our anesthesia will help prevent that as well. So let's zoom in a little bit to the eye area. Okay, let's get a close-up. I'm going to start on this side. Again, I'm using Juvederm, which is my favorite agent to use here. And if you have any issue, just raise your hand. Okay, I'm going to start right here. You shouldn't feel much. I want you to look up at the sky. Okay, I'm just going to feel. Now look straight ahead and gently close your eyes. very effective, very long-lasting technique. I would call this as an advanced technique. You do have to have a lot of experience with fillers to know what you're doing in this area. You have to know the depth of placement and every eye area is very different, so I'm not always using the same techniques for everybody. It's very safe. I never see any allergies. Um, on occasion, I do let it settle in for about a week. Um, there are times where I get a little touch-up. Now, she needs a little support in the cheek here to improve the area. I'm going to go here. You'll feel this a little bit more deep. I'm putting this in this fatty tissue right now. You are doing great. I'm layering it. Let's just take, like, pull back a little bit and take a look between both eyes. Open your eyes for me, okay? I think there's significant difference already. It's going to get better in the next few days, um, but she has no bruising or inflammation. I may touch this up at another time. Uh, right now, I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay, we're going to go to the other side now, okay? Look up at the sky, close your eyes, relax.
Now there is an art to doing this. Uh, you have to know how much to put in to make a difference, not too much. Um, the biggest risk in this area is, I think, an aesthetic one. You don't want it to look done. It is normal for everyone to have a subtle crease under the eye. There are some people that have significant bags, and if you actually do this inappropriately, it can cause worsening of the bag. So you really have to go to someone who's quite experienced in fillers and in this particular area. Open up your eye for me. Great. Close your eye. I'm going to the cheek area. You feel this a little bit more. Great. Again, excellent patient. Usually one syringe of a product is enough. Uh, there are some times when combining it with other treatment areas where multiple syringes are, new, are, um, are needed. Just a little, few little pinholes here, but nothing significant. I'm going to get a little bit more product. Come back into frame here. We really use the finest of needle. Open your eyes. That's a big difference already. Close your eyes. The other main advantage which I like to do is I mix the product itself with local anesthesia. It's not something everybody does. I can cater the viscosity of the product by diluting it with other things. It does not affect the longevity at all. Post-op care is very, very simple. You do nothing. I often put on a little ice. People are able to put on makeup and go and go do whatever they want to do. Open your eyes for me. Excellent. Close. We're just about done. We do need a little cheek support here. But probably three not good. Great. Open your eyes. That's great. Still with me, Dee? Yes. Okay, good. Let's take a little close-up look just to see what it looks like right after. We put a little ice here, and um, that's really it. I see your back in about a week just to make sure everything looks good. I think you see some differences right away, but this is something she'll see pretty much the end result um, by the weekend.